get it cracking. Um, so I don't think we actually introduced ourselves last week um, and what we actually do, but I'm Danny um, and I'll make the first cocktail um, and Matt will pop on next to do the second one. Um, this week's theme is oranges um, and I'm going to make an orange margarita uh, and Matt will do, actually he can explain what he's going to do later. Um, but with the orange margarita, it's a little bit different to a normal margarita. I actually made this a few weeks ago um, for myself because I really felt like a margarita. Um, and one thing I didn't have in the cupboard was triple sec, which and triple sec or pointro, which a lot of people don't have. It's kind of one of those things that you use very rarely. So instead, I just added orange and it turned into an orange margarita and it was pretty bloody good. So I thought, you know what, I'll make it today uh, for you guys and um, hopefully you like it. Um, so what I'll do first is, I always usually forget to do this first, but we've got to rim the glass with, <laughs> <laughs> with some lemon or whatever you have most of, lemon, orange or, um, or sorry, lemon, orange or lime. Um, I'm just going to do it with some lemon. So we'll rim the glass so it's a little bit wet. <laughs> Uh, and then, um, with the shape of the glass, try and um, make the circle on your, or whatever shape your glass is, about the same size, so you don't waste too much salt. Um, and you can use any salt. I'm just using crappy old table salt, but if you've got that fancy, chunky salt, which we would usually use if we're doing this for customers, not just ourselves, we'd use that... Um, rock salt which is really nice um, but you just have to rim the glass like this I don't know if you can actually see it just rim the glass so the whole all the edges are done and that is done and if you don't like the salt you can always do sugar um, I love the salt um, the salt and sweetness of the um, margarita but yeah if you don't like the salt don't worry about it it goes to the side there um, get rid of that and then all we need is one shot of tequila. I'm not a huge fan of tequila, but I love them in margaritas because it's obviously the spirit of choice for margs. But if you don't like tequila, chuck vodka in it, do whatever you like, do gin. I don't like gin, but. <laughs> um, so just do one shot of tequila. I'm just using the Jose Cuervo. So whatever tequila you have. Someone was messaging me yesterday saying that they had the one with the, um, the worm in it which is pretty gross, so don't let the worm go in here because that's foul. Let's get my glass there. Um, and then we need about two limes. These are actually limes. They, oh, that's a gross lime. Um, <laughs> clearly we're doing this at home, not for customers. Um, these are actually limes. They look like lemons, but they are limes. So the juice of about two limes. glasses full and if you've got more bang it in I'm going to because I love lime but generally just two shot glasses full of that and then we will need you can do a full lemon or just half a lemon just depending on what you like just do the half that's what I've got left here oh no pips Bang that in. And then, <laughs> throwing away my utensils. And then, about, you know, one or two oranges, depending on what you want. But, depending on how juicy they are, these ones are not very juicy, so I might use a couple. I hope you guys are going right in ISO. I kind of lost my mind a bit this week and decided I was definitely over it. So 
yeah, I don't know if you guys are feeling the same, but I am done with ISO, which is why we drink. <laughs> now, this one, I love the pulp. Get rid of that crap. And about, this one's really to your, to your liking. So whatever you really want to do, so I will do two shots of that. Save that and that. I can use that for the next one. Um, and that is virtually your orange margarita. So I should really have a sip of it. Ice. Hmm? Do you put ice in it? Mm -mm. I generally don't put ice in my margaritas. Uh, you can. You can crush some ice, you can just chuck a bit of ice in there, but I don't know. I kind of like them just like this. Cool. Hmm. And that's an orange margarita. I'll uh, get Matt up now All to right. uh, do his thing. We'll get rid of some crap here. Just leave it for me to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go enjoy my orange margarita and watch Matt. Cool. <laughs> G'day, guys. Um, I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Matt Fontana, so Danielle's husband, obviously, and the other half of Boutique Event Co. Um, I thought I'd be make, smart making one of these today. So it's not a hardware tool. We've actually got this in a drink, and that's obviously a screwdriver. So you're going to want a highball glass, which is basically just a fancy word for a tall glass, and I pack it full of ice. So pretty much. I'll say two thirds, three quarters. I'll go like that, that's what I'm happy with. And then you're gonna go a shot of vodka. Now, you can make it twice as good by putting two shots of vodka in it, but I'll probably go somewhere in the middle. So I'll go a shot, maybe shot and a half, just because I want something a bit punchy and it's Friday. And uh, we've been locked up for a long time. So the next one, that? Yeah. <laughs> That's all good. The next one is basically, you can get orange juice, but um, from the shop or whatever, but I prefer to do squeeze juice. I just think it tastes a bit better. Um, so I'll get into them now. Um, I'll need that juicer. And I'll need this thing. <laughs> Sorry. You're all right. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Everyone, I see that. Everyone's, oh, I've got a gross one. That was pretty good in there. These are just our crap ones from home. So, obviously, um, make sure you buy fresh fruit. We're still in the whole waste not want not thing. So, <laughs> every now and then it gets a bit, um, how you going? <laughs> so, you're going to want probably maybe two to three oranges. It just depends how, how strong you really want it. Um, these aren't super juicy, like Danielle said, so... I'm just going to keep squeezing until I reckon I've got enough. Um, and I remember as actually a bit of a story, we first bought a, a juicer, me and Daddy Al, when we moved in together. And we were pretty happy with ourselves. We actually had a garage sale to afford to buy the juicer. So we were, we'd, we'd gone out and bought this Kogan thing online. And um, we ended up putting full oranges into it and grinding in the rind and, and everything like that. I remember the day, I went got all this effort to make it for Danny. I said, oh, I'll try this. And she goes, what the fuck did you do with that? <laughs> so I, I actually put a whole orange in there without actually taking the peel off. It tasted terrible. That, it was shit out. It was very, very boring. <laughs> we'll and what, where's that juicer now? I think it went on the bonfire. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no very environmentally it's, friendly. <laughs> no, it's certainly not with us anymore. I think we recycled it down at um, the Salvos or something like that. <laughs> Sarah's laughing at you. <laughs> <laughs> People that know me well might, might not probably believe that, but anyway. Um, I reckon I've got enough juice there. And basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a little strainer, same one from last week. So. If you're wanting to do this week to week, it's probably not going to hurt you to buy a good strainer, a good knife for juice, and 
really sort of invest in what we're doing here. Um, so I'm just going to keep pouring this. And I don't really like pulp, so. I love pulp. Danny, I'll have a hand. She'll, she loves the pulp. Get rid of that. Get the last bit. I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, you sort of get a pretty cool colour through it. And just to sort of touch it up a little bit, you got a couple of options. Rather than making it just a boring screwdriver, which is still great the way it is, you can just give it a little bit of a sunrise look. So if you were with us last week, we had the grenadine syrup, and you can put, I'd say, a couple of teaspoons of that in, and basically just give it a cool look for one, but it means you don't have to waste a... Um, whole tube of grenadine syrup on last week's recipe. <laughs> so, a couple of squeezes there. And, there's one last thing. We can just do a bit of a wedge. And that is my version of a screwdriver. Thanks guys, we'll see you next week. And um, yeah, that's Thanks. pretty much it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Cheers. We appreciate it.